Living in this town hadn't been easy. The planet had helped me... Helped in some way to stay grounded. It kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that was when I started. Sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. I had MRIs and piles of doctor's reports, but nothing seemed to help. Not even drinking. I told you you were the drinking... Mm. But I swear, I had tried to give it up. I know it. The sleepwalking never really went away, though. But I know that... But I know Rachel had tried. I know she had tried to be there for me, even when everything was falling apart. This night had unearthed terrible, terrible truths. But I know it was a final act of a long-standing horror I'd been living. Waking up in that house tonight, it was the final cruelty. I wish I remained unconscious in that room forever. I wasn't sure what had happened to the other man that I had found in that house. He seemed to be more of a victim. But what was his role in all this? Now that I thought about it, those sewers were a terrible mystery. What had happened there? I was lucky in my way to even find my way out of there. But I never did find out what was on that tape I now kept. What might it have shown me? I'm sorry that I missed the tape! I found the contents of my wallet scattered throughout the town. Why the hell had I been out there? Had my sleepwalking gone to some new extreme? Though the thought that I couldn't account for my whereabouts, but I knew I had been to that forest and even to Norman's place, well, it was terrifying. I didn't know what that meant, but at least I'd recovered my things. Hopefully, I thought that I would never... that I... wait. Hope... but I... at least I had recovered my things. Hopefully, I thought that would never cover my tracks. That would cover my tracks, so I wouldn't be blamed for all this. Deep within those woods, though, there were things... Uh, where things became truly awful. Finding that notebook only made things worse. Rachel's name had been on that list, so what terrible plot was she a part of? Was there a similar name of list on that desk back in those tunnels? What was the connection? Whatever had happened, I knew that at least Norman wasn't the one who kept going back to that factory. I hope that meant that he, that he had nothing to do with that guard's violent end. But who had been rooting through those lockers or drinking that boarded up in that boarded up room? It was you! After, after the factory, I thought I might find some solace if I could get into Norman's store. But all that I found were more horrors and more questions. Now that I really consider it, uh, that's when I should have seen it coming. Norman, what were you on Rachel up to? It was obvious things were more complicated than, I ever, than I'd ever imagined. How long had you been going behind my back? More importantly, why, Norman? Whatever had killed Rachel had probably gone... What? Whoever had killed Rachel had probably gone after you, too. Maybe they knew about you. Wait, maybe they knew ab about what you what you were up to. I could never know peace, Norman, but despite your transgressions, part of me really did hope that you would. Uh, when I marched through the rain home, I desperately clung to the hopes that this would end. And guess I guess in a way it did, but how could I have known how hopeless it all was? I started to feel disorientated when I sleepwalked to think of it. Wait. I had started to feel as disorientated as when I sleepwalked. Come to think of it now. Our houses used to feel so lively, so warm, but coming into the kitchen, I felt only a cold, empty tension. Every terrible thought I had up to that point was suddenly a possibility. Nothing could have prepared me. But nothing could have prepared me. My wife, dead, ruined, discarded. Rachel's death was a terrible mystery to me, one that would haunt me forever unless I did something about it. For what solace can a man take in the death of his wife? What comfort can be offered? Rachel had been taken from me, and I might never know why. As I swung open the door and stepped out into the air, I caught the scent of wet grass and fog. Rachel, my beautiful wife, just the thought of her again, cold and inert, shook me from head to toe. What would I do now? Whom would I turn to? Would it just be a matter of time before the police got involved? Before the neighbors knew? Not the neighbors! The front lawn was soft and giving beneath my feet, and I couldn't shake the urge that I shouldn't stand there, but rather that I should run. Well, there we go! Um... That was home! Interesting. So, basically... What this was all about is one man wakes up in somebody's house and goes... Oh, look at Huggy Bear. I love Huggy Bear. Speedy. Jace. Jace Spratt. Stinkhorn. Gotta love Stinkhorn. The Blizzness. Blissness. Zimbot Zoom H4. Moving Laid. 
<laughs> That's a great name. Oh, moving played. God, I can't see anything. Thanks for ongoing moral and technical support. Yo-Yo Games. Alex, son of Snake. Home is dedicated to my wife, Nancy. Watch your back. What? What? <laughs> Home is dedicated to my wife, Nancy. Watch your... What the fuck? Uh... Press space to share your story. What happened to you? Space... Uh, home is now available on iOS. Press C to go to the App Store. What the fuck? <laughs> um. Okay. Interesting. I guess that was a different kind of horror experience, even though nothing really horrific happened. All we really did was run around, hear some creepy noises, see a lot of dead bodies, and figure out that our main man is a drunken murderer. Or was he? Was he a drunken murderer the whole time? Or, you know, was he an innocent victim? Who was, uh, you know, left for dead in that one house while everybody else was killed, including his wife, including Norman. So maybe I did jump to a little bit of con little bit of a conclusion there. I didn't see the videotape, which the game seemed to severely disapprove of. Um, really dislike how I can't go back into other areas, but I guess in a second playthrough I would um, have a completely different story since I would... You know, actually know to look for stuff like that. I, uh... Okay. Well, you know, I have to admit, for going through this game completely blind, not knowing anything about it, um... I think I did okay. I found about half of the things, maybe, at least 25% of the extra stuff. Um... I got a semi-cognitive story. I could have easily just missed everything, but I didn't. Really wish I had finished up that power station thing, the video, um... Explored that first house a little bit more. Done something with the rat. Um, explored my house a little bit more. The thing is, though, I kept thinking that, oh, you know, I shouldn't explore all this house because it'll lead me into an area that I can't get back from. But, like, my extra little exploring led me into the places that I couldn't get back from. It's like, what? Okay. Well, that was, a uh, that only took me, like, an hour to do. Man. I might just upload this whole thing in one day. All right, well, that was a... That was a pretty interesting little event, so our, uh, I, I just gotta say, it's, see, the evidence that was provided towards me did make me think that our main man, James Sunderland, was a murderer, but maybe he wasn't. Maybe he isn't a murderer. I don't know. I suggest you go out and watch somebody else's playthrough or play home for yourself and try to figure out what the fuck happened. That was really crazy. Anyway, everybody, um... This has been one of my shortest projects ever. This has been Home. I've been the Invisible Gunslinger, and I hope you enjoyed this. It was a interesting little ride. Oh my god, I couldn't believe how many... How much reading was there in this? Holy crap, my voice is about to give out. Gosh. I mean, I can handle reading in little spats or something like that, but when I have to narrate it that much... Oof, without a break, too. Yikes. Oh well. As you can tell, I'm very bad at reading on the spot. Oof. You see, that's the problem that I've always had in school and uh, in classes. Whenever I have to read something out, I always tend to add in words that aren't there to, like, enunciate the sentence a little bit more. It's a really bad habit, but one I find hard to break. Um, so anyway, guys, that's been home. Uh, I guess I'll keep on playing through... You know what? Actually, this is, a, this is definitely a very nice little bookend to uh, Lone Survivor, another game that I played a long time ago. That also had to deal with a guy who was all alone and uh, looking for his loved one, who may or may not be dead. Um, very interesting. I might play Lone Survivor again. Hell, I might play this again, like, in a stream or something to get a different ending or uh, something. I don't know. Definitely a different experience. Very, very interesting. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, I guess I'll talk to you later, and uh, I hope you're looking forward to the next spooktacular project that's going to be happening um, so until then, guys, I've been the Invisible Gunslinger, this has been Home, and, uh, I'll see you later. Ta-ta for now, everybody. See ya.